no, y'all, this can't be true. Not Paris, not Paris. <laughs> this just came out in the Washington Post, August 23rd, 2018. Trump called this White House defender wonderful. He was fired from his previous job for alleged sexual harassment. Why'd you do it, Paris? Why? Why? <laughs> A conservative commentator who was lauded by Trump this week as wonderful, who has argued the past sexual indiscretions should have no bearing on Trump's presidency, was fired from Arizona State University four years ago for making sexually explicit comments and gestures towards women, according to documents and a university official. Well, now you understand why Paris have that attitude that Trump's past should not have any bearing on him being president. Now, you know why? Because he has the same past. Oh, wow, Paris. An internal investigation by the university concluded that Paris Denard, a surrogate during the campaign and now a member of the President's Commission on White House Fellowship, told a recent college graduate who worked for him that he wanted to have sex with her. Wow, that's pretty blunt there, Paris. He pretended to unzip his pants in her presence, tried to get her to sit on his lap and made masturbatory gestures. Mm -mm -mm, Paris, that's pretty naughty now. Mm -mm -mm. According to a university, a university uh, report obtained by the Washington Post. Well, Paris, you should have known this was gonna come out especially at a university you did this? Mm -mm -mm, Paris, I just don't know what to say. I don't think I'll be able to look at you the same now. Not that I was looking at you because you're really nothing to look at. According to the 2014 report, Denard did not dispute those claims, but said he committed the acts jokingly. Oh, Paris, come on. It was all a joke. Yeah, who do we hear that from all the time, y'all? Some people are just like their masters. The investigation began after the woman and a second female employee told superiors Denard's actions went too far and had made them uncomfortable. Denard, a CNN political commentator, opinion contributor to The Hill and regular guests on NPR here and now, was working at the time as events director for ASU McCain Institute for International Leadership. Denard firing from ASU has not been previously reported. Well, Paris, somebody in the media is leaking this on you. Mm -mm -mm. That's a damn shame. An ASU official on Tuesday confirmed that the authenticity of the report, which includes a summary of an interview that investigators conducted with Denard. Shortly after the post's uh, published the article Wednesday night, a CNN spokeswoman said the network was suspending Denard while it reviews the allegation. <gasps> no more Paris on TV? No more Paris? Oh, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> In an email exchange with the Post, Denard declined to answer specific questions about the investigation or his departure from McCain Institute. He said he had not seen the full report, which 
led to believe it was sealed in proprietary. Well, apparently, Paris, it was not sealed. It is wide open for the entire public to see. I cannot comment on items I have never seen regarding allegations. I still believe to be false, Paris wrote. This is sadly another politically motivated attempt to besmirch my character and shame me into silence for my support of Trump and the GOP. Okay. All right, now Paris, go somewhere and sit down. The Post provided Denard with excerpts of the report summarizing the university's allegations and findings. The report contained extensive responses from Denard. So if it had a lot of responses from you, Paris, you knew all about this and you know what's in the report. It does not name the women involved. On Monday, Denard drew praise from Trump for a heated exchange on CNN with Philip Mudd, a former counterterrorism official with the CIA and the FBI. Mudd grew visibly angry during the exchange when Denard accused officials such as him and former CIA director John Brennan of profiting from their security clearances after leaving government. Just watched former intelligence official Philip Mudd become totally unglued and weird while debating wonderful, this is from Trump, at Paris Denard over Brennan's security clearance. Denard destroyed him, but Mudd is in no mental condition to have such a clearance, Trump says. Now, Trump talking about somebody's mental condition. Now, this is a joke. This is really a bizarro world, y'all. Trump talking about somebody's mental condition. <laughs> Woo! This place is going to hell in a handbasket. Trump tweeted about the exchange, which first aired last week. Denard, 36, has been active in National Republican Party politics since 2000, when, as a teenager, he spoke at the Republican National Convention with then-Vice President nominee Richard B. Cheney applauding in the audience. In 2005, after graduating from college, he worked as an intern in the White House Political Affairs Office and parlayed the spot into a full-time job. By 2007, according to a biography on his website, Denard was working with the White House advance team and had been named White House Outreach Director to the Black community. This man is so disconnected from the Black community, it's not even funny, but let's, <laughs> let's move on. Now, that's comical. He then worked at the Republican National Committee as Associate Director of Coalitions, according to his biography, before joining the McCain Institute in the fall of 2013. So this sexual allegations against him really was not that long ago. 2013, that's not that long ago. Pretty recent. Denard was an early an outspoken supporter for Trump during the 2016 campaign. Combined, he has appeared on CNN and NPR over a hundred times, often defending Trump on everything from his record of false statements to rolling back race-based administration policies to use a vulgar word to describe Haiti, El Salvador, 
and the African nations. And you know what, Paris Denard, this is why I don't respect you. You know what Trump said and you're on TV defending it. I don't respect you. Moving on. In December, Trump appointed Denard to the Commission on White House Fellowship, which selects those who will work in the White House for one of the nation's premier public service programs. ASU's 13-page investigative report describes a series of inappropriate incidents often initiated by Denard with the two women in 2013 and 2014. The second woman said Denard would sometimes throw things at her and that she caught Denard looking at her breast. When she tried to adjust her blouse, he said, don't worry, I've already seen it. He's a stupid pervert. Moving on. Denard acknowledged making the comment or something similar to it, according to the report. Denard also admitted to touching the first woman's neck with his tongue. Okay, Paris, what the hell were you doing on your job? Don't sound like you've been doing too much working, more creeping than working, according to the report. In that instance, Denard came up behind employee one during another McCain Institute event and whispered, in her ear that he wanted to F her. Being blatant again there, Paris. The report says Denard and one of the women socialized outside the office and engaged in a banter of a sexual nature. Anybody that lays down with Paris must need their head examined. Don't ever, I, I don't even want to see this woman. I'm sure I won't like her. <laughs> even so, it says Denard engaged in much of this behavior in the workplace and or during work events. Such conduct, of course, is inappropriate, un unprofessional, and unbecoming of a university employee and in violation of ASU policy. The report concludes that Denard was found to have engaged in serious misconduct. He was placed on administrative leave at the outset of the investigation in the fall of 2014 and was involuntarily separated from his post in early 2015. So like I said, this is really recent when this happened, according to a university official who spoke on the condition of amenity um, to discuss a personal matter. Trump, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm calling Paris Trump. I guess they're all the same, right? So Paris, did you do any actual work? Now I understand why you relate to Trump. Trump, well, Trump don't do no work. And he's got a shady past when it comes down to um, sexual allegations. And we see Paris is really up in that same boat. Now you know why he fights so hard to defend Trump, because they have very parallel backgrounds when it comes down to sexual harassment and allegations against them. The women are quoted in the report saying they did not want him to lose his job, but fear him returning. We all know what it's like to be on Denard's bad side. He will make your life miserable, one said. You know what, I have dealt with men like him in the workplace and trust me, he wouldn't even begin to make me miserable. <laughs> he don't know what misery is until he encounters me in the workplace. What if he comes back to the office? So this is what the women were worried about. What if he comes to an event? Does he know where I live? Well, you know, 
especially if they're the kind of women that I think they are, they can easily call the police. You know, one thing Paris can't lose about himself, no matter how coonish he acts, he is still a black man in America. <laughs> first Paris, you are still that first. That's what you do if he shows up because you know, we know and we know the police don't look out for us, but probably the kind of women Paris was on, he probably looked, they'll, they'll probably look after those women. Denard's departure was announced internally at the McCain Institute meeting in 2015, according to two people who were there. But the reason for his departure was not made public and he went on to become an increasingly sought after commentator. In another sharp exchange on CNN earlier this year over Trump's attorney, Michael Kahn Cohen, Oh yeah, this is the guy that's in the news now. I, I remember, I don't, I don't really keep up with this dude. Then alleged payments to porn actress Stormy Daniels, Republican strategist Rick Wilson blasted Denard for saying the actions were irrelevant because they were from before Trump was president. So if you rape somebody, I'm just using a scenario. So if you rape somebody and you become president, it's it's now irrelevant because it happened before he was president. I bet you it ain't irrelevant to Melania. The fact that you're defending him, Wilson said, speaks much more about your character and what low standards you have. Mm -mm -mm. That's because Paris got the same kind of background. Denard fired back. You can dig up dirt, uh, dirty laundry and I pray to God, oh, come on, Paris, being melodramatic, that nobody goes back in your past and picks up something that has nothing to do with your present time as sitting here as a commentator. So then the media proceeded to go in Paris Pass and they dug this up about his conduct at ASU between 2013 and 2015. Paris, Paris, Paris. You know, you sound like that dog that got hit. You know, the dog that gets hit has the loudest scream and holla. And you just had to, you know, he pretty much ran his mouth to the point where people start looking at his past. So Paris, the way I see it, you did it to yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the fall of the Coons is real. It's real, y'all. It's real. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family. Bye, Felicia. <laughs>